guiding to the society what would be the best way by giving you to the state or secular people to run the country or would you want the religious people to run the country means they will create they will formulate the law from the religious books yeah. and set up the guidance so what's your take uh, i think it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting question i don't think there's, I don't think there's an easy answer to it to say. because if the states is to think i i think personally religious principles are the best way in which society can be organized okay thank you i i i am really happy that you say yes, that that's 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 to the side yeah. but i don't believe a state implemented religious principle is as effective as our individual religious people acting out their faith. Sorry, if you can repeat it, because... I don't think a state enacted, a state mandated a religious... So, a, a state, a religious state, religious politics, religious government is as effective on organizing a society as the natural emergence of religious people doing, living, living their life. So, I don't think if it's just a case of... Um, for example, England that I went to 300 years ago England was a was a Christian country and it was mandated because the the king was pretty much the head of the church and that sort of ran down. It didn't work. We're now in a state where England is very much non-religious because I don't believe you can just command people to be religious. I think it's a it's a matter of the heart. Okay. I think uh, quite a few points you have mentioned and I would like to clarify one more point so so when we look back like 18th century 17th century pretty much Europe was run by Christian Christian right although to be honest with Christianity doesn't have much to offer to governing the society to the what to governing the society uh, go on. and and if I pinpoint it for example how how would we formulate the law of husband and wife relationship? Imagine if, if you have a dispute between husband and wife, right? And we have domestic violence due to alcohol. We have other issues as well. The society is going. What would be the solution from Christianity? Uh, the solution between a uh, married couple, they're married? Like in general. No, yes. uh, it's important to know if they're married or if they're not married. If they're not married, then they're already in sin. No, go ahead. Yeah, you can. So if, if We have time. Don't worry. Yeah, go ahead. So if, if, the, if, if, the, if the couple that you mentioned are, are married and they're married and they're going to attend a local church, then it's A, um, it starts with the elders. The elders are the one, uh, let's say, the wife has been abusive towards the... No, sorry, the husband has been beaten up the wife. Physically abusive towards the wife. The wife reports that to the elders. The elders um, have, have three meetings. First meeting as a warning to the, to the husband. If that persists, the second one. Now, after the third one, it gets moved up to the um, either the pastor, the priest, whatever that might be, and that person will get uh, this badge. They'll get kicked out of the church, and in that they'll get shunned. And it's a way in which everyone in the church is sort of commanded to like shun these people, like they're not of the power of the flock. And until they repent, until the husband repents, that is, then it's not welcome back in. So that's the question. Okay. To take so I, I, in the okay. So is this church tradition or is it? This is biblical tradition. Biblical tradition. Yeah, this is a similar thing. We've okay. got a path in which. Okay. So where do we derive this law from? From the Bible. Bible. And Bible from who? Who should be the living example? Sorry. Who would be the living example? What you mean? For example. For our life is practical, right? Yeah. And let's say if you look at a UK law, driving, if you drove faster than 70 miles, sorry, let's say 80 miles per hour in motorway, if police catch you, you get fine. Now we have smart motorway, you know, you'll be, you'll have penalty and prosecution. So that's for human beings. So if any human being, so there was a, a thing called in local ratio decision die. Ratio decision die means if a law has been applied to someone, the same law will be applied to following person. Yeah. Right, right. So 
So that's an imitation of someone else. Right. Right. So when the laws you mentioned, these are the church tradition, right? And biblically, that law should come from Jesus Christ. Correct? Uh, no. Why, why should it come from Jesus Christ? Because if you don't have the law from Jesus Christ, where does that should law come from? Uh, you're a Muslim, so I need to clarify what you mean by Jesus. You're referring to Jesus, the person that lived on earth and that while he's alive on earth, he should have given the law that it can be a nation. Or you say it doesn't matter. You, should, the law should come from Jesus authority. Because in either way, it doesn't matter because No, no it does. Where, where is Jesus married? Yes. According to Bible. Where? Uh, the church is the bride of Christ. No, there is no marriage recorded. The, 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 the marriage is not happened yet, but the church is the bride of Christ. The, the marriage is what... Jesus no, did, no. didn't have a marriage. Do, do you want to get a Bible out? Yeah. Revelation, Revelation is the, the last book. No, the but Bible. but Revelation is. Revelation talks about talks about what the things that happen, uh, basically the story of the, the end of the church. Yeah. What happens when Jesus comes back is what Revelation teaches. Yeah. The Max King. No, well, I'm I'm, I'm talking. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. It's that not happened yet. Not happened yet. Now, for you as a Christian, yeah. how do you take the law? Because he hasn't made of, 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 of a marriage. Yeah? yeah, because Jesus was not a married person, right? So therefore, you cannot take Jesus as a as a role model. So you're saying because Jesus wasn't married, Jesus cannot be a, a role model yes. marriage. Yes. That would be true if Jesus was a man. He's a man. If Jesus was just a man. If he is not a man, then God, right? No, just a man. Okay. Just now, the problem is both ways. I tell you why. I tell you why the problem is both ways, my brother. Chani, your name, yeah? Chani. The problem is both ways because God would have plainly legislated what should be the law if he didn't let his messenger or a person to imitate the law. Now, we don't have... Can you repeat that? So... The law come from the lawgiver. Do you agree? The lawgiver, yeah. Who is the lawgiver? The creator. Creator. Is that creator? Who is that creator? Is it Jesus or the Father? Uh, it's not something we're going to sort out. I'm yeah, sure you've had a trinity argument, a conversation with a lot of people. Uh, I but can tell me. The point is, the point is, this, this is where I don't understand the point you're making. You're saying the lawgiver has to be the imitate, has to be imitated. And has to be the person that represents the perfection of the law. And then if there's no lawgiver to imitate, then no, I think you mix it up. Let me, let me, let me, let me clarify it. So the creator is not only creator; he's the lawgiver as well. How do we live our life? And an example to follow of godly way is to follow God's representative. In that case, okay. let's take that example. Yes. In that case, Jesus Christ as a man is the ultimate representative, representative of yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what my understanding is, Jesus wasn't married. Wasn't married. Mm -hmm. Therefore, as a Christian, you have to derive the law of marriage from human being, not the not from oh, the godly okay, source, okay, right? Okay, okay, okay. I, I think I understand yeah, what, yeah. what you're trying to tell. Yeah. No, no, I made it clear, super clear yeah, now. Yeah. So, sorry. No, nah, that's all right. It took me a while. Yeah. So, um, before the lawgiver, the creator is the lawgiver. And the, in, the, in the Christian case, you're saying it is not proper for Christians to follow the marriage law given by someone who was not married. What I am saying, the law giving authority mm -hmm. should be God mm -hmm. and God representative. Mm -hmm. Now, if I have God who is the creator and Jesus Christ is assuming I'm not going on the Trinity yeah. debate, assuming that now if we say no, let's let's just say Jesus Christ is the representative of God. Okay, okay. Let, let, let's, that, that works in Islam. That also works. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. So Jesus Christ was not married. Mm -hmm. So therefore, as a Christian, we should follow a representative as a Christian, not me, as a Christian, yeah. brothers and sisters. So, so, so your guidance should be now 
is not in the hand of the God representative. Because why? The God representative was not married. But um, do you know what? Do you know? Do you know what Jesus Christ said about marriage? No. One thing is said about marriage, and one thing. Some of the things we need to see practically. No, no. But do you know what he said about marriage? No. Enlighten me. Uh, so the the Pharisees, the um, religious leaders of the time, came to him a few times in the Bible. They'll come to, to try ask him questions to trip him up, because this this Jesus was the. Where, where about in Bible? Uh, I'll find it. For you. My question still remains. Yeah, it does, but... Um, do, do you see my point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do see your point, but I think... Matthew 19, 1 to 12. So, do you mind if I read it? Let me have a look. Please. So... So read it, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's just, quite, quite a while. It's, it's, it's not, good. It's not, okay, so when, yeah, when, here, yeah. when Jesus had finished talking, he went from the country of Galilee. He came to the part of the country of Judea, which is on the other side of Jordan River. Many people followed him and he healed them there. The proud religious law keepers came to Jesus. They tried to trap him by saying, Does the law say a man can divorce his wife for any reason? He said to them, have you not read that he who made them in the first place made them man and woman? It says, for this reason, a man will live his father and his mother, and and will live and will live with his wife. The two will become one. So they are no longer two, but one. Let no man divide what God has put together. The proud religious lead. So, firstly, um, Jesus is affirming marriage. He's saying that marriage is a godly thing. It's, it's, it's a gift from God. But we could keep going on. The proud religious leaders said to Jesus, then why did the law of Moses allow a man to divorce his wife if they put it down in writing and gave it to her? Jesus said to them, because of your hard hearts, Moses allowed you to divorce your wife. It was not like that from the beginning. And I it's, say, not clear. it's not clear. We're not there yet. No, we're nah, not there. I'm we're, not, it's we're not clear. We're not there yet. And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife ex except for sex sins and marriages, and marries another is guilty of sex sins and marriage. Whoever marries her that is divorced is guilty of sex and marriage. His follower said to him, if that is the way of a man with his wife, it's better, it is better not to be married. But Jesus said to them, not all men are able to do this, but only those to whom it has been given. No, so, no, no, that, that, that's, that's the key I, part. I, I, do you understand what I meant? Yeah, I, I understand. I, what, what, can you explain to me what... So basically, it's talking about the men and the divorce and the sex sins, right? Not, not Divorce of the sex sins. No, the, the last part I read, do you know what that meant? But there are some men who from birth will never be able to have children. There are some who have been made so by men. There are some who may have had themselves made that way because of the holy nation of heaven. The one who is able to do this, let him do it. So marriage, Sorry, I didn't no, get no, it. No, marriage, though being a gift from God, is not the ultimate. Jesus wasn't married. Paul wasn't married. It's not everyone's calling to be married. Not everyone so I, is, is I, 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 So no, I'm saying that to say, you're saying the representative of God should be, um, if marriage was a live example, should be a live example, and he is a, he is a live example of the ultimate. It is better not to, not to marry. Like Paul said so it, it's better I, I, to brother, be single. Brother Tommy, I have two issues here. Do you understand? No, look. No, do you understand the point I'm making? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I, let, 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 right. let me. The yeah, there's few problems here. Please. Number one. Number one, there are some commandments need to be practical. And some commandment, you don't need to be practical. Like speaking the truth. You don't need to demonstrate through an example, speaking the truth. But when it comes to marriage, family relationship, how to deal with this wife, this is required. The representative should, should be an example. If you, now, imagine if you... Don't, don't, okay, I, I will agree with you, the representative should be an example, but not, uh, you're, you're adding marriage to it. I'm saying an example. No, I'm saying in general about all the relationship between. Imagine dispute happen. Now this talks about uh, marriage and divorce, right? And particularly, and we do not know who wrote it anyway. This is not, by the way, this is not my belief that I believe that this is the word of Jesus. Anyway, so my understanding is that God should send representative to show and become an example, a guide. What guide does? Guide show you an example so that you can follow. So I say to people, do you, can I answer how Jesus was an example to 
in a way that answers your question but mm. doesn't answer it directly no i think he he cannot be my answer would be he cannot be a category of the answer i'll tell you why he's not in an option option why because if he's married i can take him an option because he's not married i cannot take him in an option that's my can i can i ask you a question yeah why is marriage the highest level of why why are you upon a marriage because this is a very important question that you mentioned because marriage is the backbone of a society a society start from the family family is the backbone of a nation if the family destroyed the country stand nothing that's why it is important to protect and sorry sorry so it protect and preserve protect and preserve so that's why i find the jesus christ has not fulfilled the message therefore it requires someone else to fulfill his message so um is it in the quran that marriage is the backbone of society some of the things clearly you don't need to tell that it is the word backbone it's mentioned right but god has instructed a way how to procreate ourselves so he legislated how he never said man to man marry or woman to woman what did he say one man and woman. woman right so that means he commanded us so command you can say a backbone okay. do you follow me so yeah but hey, there are other commandments there are loads of commandments uh why is truth not a backbone of society because i would argue it's more important to be truthful than to be married no i think there's a two layer separate issue okay, okay. Huh. you know no, i look the look reason, look, look look reason, my, my brother no, no, i don't okay. argue i don't argue no, no, with all no, this what do you say what do you say what do you what is it let me just why i said some some of the things we should not argue what do you said i agree i know let me tell you why no because this is universal thing even for answer something amazing that's why i do not want to lose it for answer it for answer some one of the amazing words it said be just against even if it is go against yourself against your parents against your kid be just right so and speak the truth right now waqulu qawlan sadida speak what is truth what is right so the quran constantly telling us to be just and justice require truthfulness you cannot establish justice now imagine you wanted to you have a verdict yeah in a court trial a court trial let's say you have a court trial and a verdict the judge is going to give the verdict the fair trial would be judge has the right witness yeah. and truthful source of information from both side exactly. then so justice actually required truthfulness yes and you know why one of the i don't know whether tani you know about it prophet muhammad peace be upon him he was known to be an al amin and as sadiq that's two titles what does that mean so one called as sadiq the trustworthy and al amin is truthful so these before he became a prophet commissioned to be a prophet these are the title given by the way pagans why because he is the uh, uh, man to go means at that time they didn't have the bank do you see so your jewelry bank now you have what you call it uh, in bank you keep the gold what do you call it the there is a term the reserve there is a term call it no reserve uh, some something else anyway anyway locker locker or something yeah, yeah. so they used to keep now we keep our gold to the uh, bank lockers right and we pay for it Same. at that time at that time you have the valuables but you don't have an organization where you can keep it yeah. so they used to choose the best among them who can them they trust so the pagan knows that prophet muhammad does not follow their own religion but they still chose them. they no he go against their gods and he was telling these are the false god worship god alone yet they still made him god they made him an example and they made him the trustworthy the source to keep it. so so you agree with truth is no no truth of course truth, truth is truth is the whole and yeah. the reason i'm going through this yeah. is to the the 
religious leaders, they don't always just ask them questions. And my, my favorite thing that they asked them was, firstly, if I can get them, if I can get this, should I go there or let me go there? Oh, go Jesus, there, go there. Go there. The, most, the most base, the most, they asked them what's most important to know. What was the what's the first commandment? What was what was the first commandment? Honor your honor your mother and your father. So you no no no. That's the first no. In Mark oh, chapter twelve. Oh, in Mark the first commandment. First what? about the ten commandments. That's in Exodus. The always the first and foremost commandment. Your God is love one. Love your God. No, before love your God. Yes. You know what the Shema? Uh, that yes. Shema, yeah. Or, Shema the Creed. Oh, Lord is one. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Shema. Is always the same Wait, message. Oh, sorry, did let me lie. Sorry, I have to go back. I didn't like to where I was going. Uh, you interrupted me. Yeah. So, truth, um, family, important, essential for society. Truth, essential for society. When they ask Jesus, what's the most important thing? They give they give them what's the most the most important thing for society to follow, and it's love. Love God, number one. Love God, number one. And then love your neighbor as yourself. So okay. it's love. It's love God first, and then others. Okay. So I, I think if you follow that, if you follow that loving God and loving others, yeah. all the other commandments, including the family one, becomes easier. Yeah. I, I I take what you say, and let me break it down. I I believe uh, you know Allah tells us Allah is wadud. Wadud is one of the attributes of Allah. Love. The all loving. What is the all loving? Means someone who give all the love. The fact that the whole creation. What's the? Who's the? No. In, 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 um, Let me finish. So, I'm asking you a question. You asked me about it. who's the representative of the representative of Allah's love in the Quran. No, I'm, I'm coming to that. Let me finish it. So the creator attributes of love, and he bestowed love to this nation whole entire world so that's why we show the love between one another right so that he tells us to exercise it but first commandment one god mm -hmm. love your neighbor right Up in islam we've been told to look after our neighbor and we have hadith which is the teaching Came up. No, no, um, just, I was, yeah, no, no, no. I no. Just, I'm just, um, I'm just sharing the knowledge of. I am, I am giving look, you. I, 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 I don't disagree. You want me to say this? Yeah. This is, this is a pro-Muslim coming. I, I can say, Muslims are very loving. Yes. Because an example of today is yeah. uh, uh, a day of celebration for the Shia Muslims, and I walked around with offering them food, drinks. It's very hot today, and they're offering free lemonade, water, all of it. Yeah. So that's that's a command that I've seen Muslims do practice. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's that's where the love is. The love is to share your bread. You know how in 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 your uh, in gospel how Jesus shared the bread. bread, bread the same bread. way Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He used to share food with the companion. So all of the prophets of God have the same trait. They oh, are all of them have the same traits. Same trait. Now the same trait. Same trait of loving people. Okay. Why? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Loving people. Do you know why? Because they're coming from one source, and the source is the Creator Almighty, and He does not choose an imposter to uh, uh, to proclaim His message. Rather, He chose oh, best among. What about donkey? No, I'm talking about prophets and messenger. Does, does does I'm I'm asking I don't know the, I've read the Quran. Donkey is an animal. It's not. Uh, is there, is there, it's, a, there, it's not a prophet there, messenger. Is there, is there any point in the Quran where Allah used the donkey to speak? Yeah, there there are one place as Allah said, do not be like those who uh, carry the books on top of the donkeys. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. So giving a parable that you know, memorize it. Don't. You know, don't keep the book in don't somewhere. Just yeah, yeah. On the internet yeah. and say, yeah, if I know that. Yeah, just no, find but it. read it. Yeah, be, yeah. So, going back to where we are, I think we, we touched upon a few things yeah, and we, not, we're well, moving around. Okay, the loving, yeah. So, what we believe, the Creator send companion and show them how to love. And in, in Islamic teaching, that our. So, so, wait, so, you're saying all of the messengers of Allah have been equally loving? No, I say they were chosen by Allah, number yeah. one. They are not the they are the best people in terms of their character. Right. Really? Let me tell you why. I do not believe the the account of Luth in Genesis, where 
Lu committed incest with her own daughter. And we believe our prophets has are not like that. And really? yes, yeah, in Islam, really? yes, yeah, okay. they they are okay. they are protected from major sin. In in fact, they are protected from major sin. Yes. In, that, sorry, in Islam, are they were they were all, are all the prophets born into prophet or are they a sign of? Is there a time when they become a prophet? Okay. Are they prophets in birth? So, basically, God chosen messenger and God chose God given Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam his messengership at the age of 40. Okay, so that's when he became a prophet. Yeah. So you're saying after he became a prophet, he was sinless. So I think we are going to the another subject, which is a big subject. Let's stick with. No, but that, that's no. What you said God chooses perfect. That the perfect messages of Allah are perfect. That, that was what you. You know when I say major sin, when I say major. There, there are major sin, okay. and there are some. Minus. Human human mistake, okay. like forgetfulness. Forgetfulness. A human can. What is the human trait? A forgetfulness. Prophet can be, can have that mistake, but we don't say sin because they don't do it with consciousness. Why? Why? That is a reason. Reason why? That is a reason why. God is in charge of their mission. Because God is controlling him, making sure that the messenger and the prophets are doing his service. Brother, that is a very slippery argument. No, it's a I'm very, very strong argument. I'll tell you why. No, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you. I tell you, I, I tell you. This is a very strong argument. Because do you believe the Creator of the universe is powerful enough to control the whole universe? I do. So the same logic applies. Do you think the Creator of the universe will not be able to control? Or ensure that what his messenger is doing. So, are you saying once they become a prophet, they now become um, an agency, um, uh, they become a representative of, of God, and everything they do is what God wants them to do? Yes, they are inspired, yeah. That's why they've been given revelation, and that's how they proclaim I've the got, message. I've, I've got a question about this, but first, it was a question I had earlier that I did, that I did not ask. Uh, let me ask you now. So going back to my race, No, no, I think. Okay, going back so to my, the, my question go back to, so ma, uh, Jesus cannot be taken an example or a role model because he was not married. That is the simplest. But you've not, you've not proven to me that marriage... No, I don't need to because... No, as in you, we both talked about, we talked about truth, we spoke about love, yeah. we spoke about marriage. You've not said to me why marriage is more important than love. No, I, I the, the, my, my answer okay, my, okay, the way I okay. answered what your you, what query, you, what, hold on, listen, listen, yeah, listen, okay. listen, the way I answered your query I'm about listening. Jesus was that Jesus uh was the was that his, his command of love God and love your neighbor covers a multitude of sin. Whereas he doesn't need to speak about on, in, on, in on every age. issue. Now your point is that he, he was not married. And I told you, I kept saying to you, he's got his bride, is the church. That it's it's a, I know you're Muslim, it doesn't make sense to you, you have to be a Christian to understand it. But his bride is the church. And at judgment day, there's a it's of the wedding. The wedding where uh, a lot of people are invited, but some of them don't make it and others are invited are told to come in. I think that's a side issue. So I think uh, I was I was gonna ask you one question. No, Be before I, I explain. I was gonna, I was gonna ask no, you know, you know, so because in, of love, love. You mentioned. I would like to understand the concept of love. Uh -huh. Thank you. Go ahead. So that I would like to see where you are trying to say what you are trying to say because I still not get it what you are trying to say on this point. God is love. God is love. When he said God is love, is this that? the only attribute of God? No, no, no. But it, it's the most, it's the most impactful attribute to humans is the love of God. It's, it's, it's the, no, the, no. the singular... We, we don't deny that. We don't deny that. Right. We don't deny okay, that. Okay, good. But what my proposition is, my proposition is, my proposition is... Let me ask you a question. You have to give you a description of love. Okay. Um, so, but I didn't clear. It's just one attribute. But explain to me what love entails. Love entails your my my uh, it's my it's, uh, my enemy's well-being at the expense of me. That's that's love. Okay. My now my enemy's well-being at the expense of at the expense of mine. Now let me give you a scenario. Now imagine 
you are in work and practically you've been attacked and you know that if you don't you know fight back they will kill you what would you do so you will die but, but, but you will not fight back when you say i i am in war let's say you are in war yeah. the whole country is in war all oh, right no, different whole country let's say the a christian country let's say you are in a christian which country any christian let's say ethiopia eritrea okay give us eritrea. eritrea was attacked by another country a secular country and muslim country let's say no muslim country no let's say secular country like, because they they because I'll give you an actual example no i'll, I'll, I'll say, tell you why i need the, the, no, the, the northern of nigeria is attacking no i let, i'm in a church in joss okay this is a real example because i've got family that i give you that if, if that makes you happy this i give is, you that okay let's say there's a church in joss okay now i think that's being attacked we will lose the point we lose the point i'm not no because we are diverting now we are diverting it's about how would i react to it and i'm telling you the same thing so the same answer no i would i think the problem is yeah I, I don't know, die. but with, with humble, I think you go away from the point. That's why. But anyway, no, I no, didn't. No. The, the, the point is, what will you do when your life is in danger? And I'm telling you, I will die. Okay. So would you would you not defend your life? I would defend my life. No, no, no. I'll defend other other others' life, other people's life. Yes, I would defend mine. No. So my, my if, life is God's. If, if enemy comes you and attack you, you you have no rule for self defense, right? Um. No, that, that's not that's not true. If, if in war, now imagine if the guy comes with a gun and in the war, would you say I'm dying for God and stand like that, or would you if, retaliate? I would if if the, if I am in in a scenario where I am dying, it's, it's possible for me to die for my faith. I am jumping at that. You have no idea how important that is for Christian. Dying for your faith, the uh, the, the disciples a lot. No. Hold on, hold on. So the, a lot of the disciples were crucified. A lot of them were in prison. A lot of the early church were prosecuted. I and they all went to their death praising, singing God. Oh, I I think there is a disclaimer I need to make. Please. What? Dying is an end result. Right? If someone die for the God, and in Islam, we call it Shaheed. Shaheed means is one of the highest rank, one of the one of the highest rank God will give in them in the paradise. Means in the paradise these will be guys will be highly rewarded by the okay. So this is the end product. Before you become the martyr for the God, would you not fight back? Or you're gonna just gonna die for it? I, I've told you when, why, when and how I would fight back. I would fight back to defend others, not to defend myself. Okay, so now if to everyone... Defend, to defend women, to defend children, yes, I'm a man. You have to defend those people, that's, yeah. that's part of it. Now, imagine you are fighting in one corner and you don't have to defend, you have to defend yourself. Would you allow yourself to be killed or would you fight back? Oh, I, I, I can die. So that's why, you know, my brother Tami, I think I like to end the conversation here because look, in Islam is a practical religion. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. So in Islam, it's a practical religion. Yes, yes, we have to fight back. I'm sorry, are you Sunnin or Shia? I am a Sunnin. You're a Sunnin, yeah. I, I've, listened but anyway, to, I've listened to the conversation between. Oh, do you want to end it? Yeah, because you know the practicality I demonstrated. Because you, want, because you, uh, you know, I, I don't see the Christianity with respect. Look. We have a very respectful yeah. relationship. Say, but say, 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 yeah, yeah, no. Say Sometimes even if we don't agree with, but we respect each other, yes. right? Because this is what your belief, and I believe God should show the practical example, that, and that's why Islam is more practical in this would life. You, and would, I, you, would you agree that Islam is a lot more violence than, than Christianity? What do you say when you say violence? Not, not. I'm not saying let's go for history and say I yeah. want to have you killed. I'm saying in terms of the the way. I, I think the, the theology brother, comes out. No, I think, brother, Islam is a very practical religion. Okay? Very practical. It tells us if someone oppress you, you have the right to fight back. So it's, it's a practical religion. But if you look at practically over the last 10, 10 years, yeah? Look, look how many. <laughs> Excuse me. Shall I give you a tissue? Yes, please. Uh, let me. Let me. I, I don't think. Let me see. I have or not. Ah, oh, sorry. Let me try. Because the reason why we say Prophet Muhammad, sorry, uh, Tani, uh, I don't have a yet. Yeah. Sorry, the Prophet Muhammad, 
was a living example, right? So example of what? Example of how to guide humanity. How to guide humanity? Yeah. Because he was sent for all all over the world. But anyway, I I, I, I want to know about I want to learn more about that. how to guide humanity. Can you so I can I can offer you a a book. Uh, go through with this. I've read a Quran. No, but go through the life of Prophet. Uh, do you and, have some? Yeah, you, you can and, read it in And you think? Have a read. I, it's important from, to know from, before. From what, before. From what I've heard about, not just from Christian, from Muslims about Muhammad as well, it doesn't seem like that God is a representative to me. Mm. But again, my view of God is tainted by my understanding through yeah. Christianity. So, but then again, first of all, point number one is who God is, and God's messenger is. So we need to discuss on the step one, then step two. So then again, we'll have to talk about Trinity let's, and understand. Okay. It. We've been very, very, very cordial yeah. with each other. Let's, yeah. let's talk about the Trinity. I, I just, I'm, I'm just going to, be, I'm going to be more listening mm. than talking. So I want you to explain to me your. You no, know, I, I, you should, you should explain to me Trinity, because I have a lot of problems with Trinity, right? And it's, I've been historically there are a lot of problems. Interpretation wise, many problem. Logically, it is in irreconcilable, means you cannot reconcile it. So, therefore, I don't need to go open any debate because it's been hard. I don't, I don't, I don't want to debate, I want to understand why it is that Muslims act as if all Christians are Trinitarians. You know, there are non, non Trinitarian Christians. Yeah, there are. Yeah. Yes, and so why? What do you say to them? Are they what? What do they? What, what are they wrong about? Because a lot of the position I've heard in this speaker's corner is Muslims telling Christians how wrong they are about the Trinity. Now I find that that was very important because, hey, from the Christian's point of view, I don't think it's wise for Christians to expect Muslims to understand the Trinity. Even some Christians don't understand the Trinity. It's not if, no, it's only it's not something that you that you come to. Only if you say it's mystery. And if you say it's subjective, that's fine. Yes. Then, in that case, Christians should should not argue and say, "Look, we believe our belief is belief. We cannot rationalize our belief. So leave us alone." I think in that case is fine. Yeah, sorry. Um, no, I. Do you see my bro? Are you a Trinitarian? I, I am very much a Trinitarian. Yeah. But I'm a loose Trinitarian because I don't... I understand why Muslims feel like they... Muslims feel like they've won because they discovered how... No, I how, think it's about... My, my it brother Tommy, it's all about truth. Look, it's about truth. It's about truth. Yeah? It's not about... It's not about hating anyone. No. It's about truth. Yes, it's about truth. So, yeah. it's about truth. And you believe the Trinity to be false, obviously, because you're Muslim. And no, uh, not because I'm Muslim. I think it's because, because you're Muslim. No, no. Not because it no, rationally sorry. not makes sorry. sense. It's because you're not a Christian. Actually. Not, not just Muslim, it's because yeah. you're not a Christian. Because Christian, if this is your belief, and belief, Belief, if you def look at the definition of belief, it can be blind belief as well. Mm -hmm. So you can say it's a blind belief. So I, I don't mind. I Look, I respect anyone's belief. And in my religion tells me, there is no compulsion in the religion. It means you cannot force someone to become a Muslim. But at the same time, we should spread the truth. We should spread the truth. Let them know, our Christian brothers, the truth about Isa, which Allah confirms about I don't understand help me understand this. yeah when Sarah is your auntie auntie I need to go to the bathroom so thank you very much it's not actually really good yeah it was next time let's have a chat I need to do anyway thank you <laughs>